So if you follow me on Instagram or if you know me, then you already know that I spent some time in Dublin last week for uh, my fall vacation. I don't know if that's a thing other places than Norway or maybe Scandinavia. Here we have one week off in the autumn, usually in October. So I spent this year's vacation on going to Dublin because of that country and the Sarah J Mass signing that was there. Well, unfortunately I did not get around to vlogging because I was there all alone and it would have been pretty awkward. Yeah. But I am going to bring to you now my Dublin haul. So a friend of mine commented after my London haul that she would like to see what I bought other than books. So today I'm bringing to you sort of the entire Dublin haul, not just the book haul. Although I didn't really buy much things except for books. Let's get started. First of all, there's this store in Ireland that's called Claire's. It's probably in other countries as well, but I had not heard of it before. And they had like loads of stuff, so I bought some Halloween prep. Although honestly I'm not sure what exactly of these things that I will be using for Halloween. But anyway, one thing I'm pretty sure I'll be using is this cute little witch hat hair clip thing. So I'll be a witch with this witch hat. I also got this pretty cool set with 20 pairs of Halloween themed earrings. I got some really cool like goth style laced gloves. I got this mask and I got this these sets of black glittery fake nails and this glow in the dark green nail polish. Moving on, boots. I actually got quite a lot of makeup and I forgot most of it. I've never really been one for makeup but I want to start using makeup so let's see what I got. I got an eye cream apparently. A setting spray from Barry M. A 2-in-1 top and base coat, because I don't actually think I have any of those. I got an eye crayon, which I've never used. It's in sort of a metallic-ish blue. I got this cute little trowel-sized dry shampoo. I got a concealer from Collection. Is it just called Collection? I'm not sure in the color Fair. And I got a foundation from Collection, if it's called that, in the shade Porcelain. I pretty much just took the palest ones. Uh, I did try them, but I'm not entirely sure. Then I got this tinted lip balm from uh, Natural Collection. I really like the color of this. Finally, I got two eyeshadow palettes. I got Easy on Eye by Seventeen, The Big Smoke, and then I got Eye Divine Original by Sleek. This is the Easy on Eye from Seventeen. Oh, why didn't I realize? There's a coupon in it. Right, um, these are the colors, and then the one from Sleek. These are the colors in that one. I do believe that's it for the non-bookish things, actually. Now, as I said, I did attend DeathCon, which is sort of a Irish book con. Uh, and at DeathCon, I got this nice tote bag full of bookish swag. I'm not going to show all of it, but it did include some free books. Some that I got is actually do graphic, graphic novels, uh, Image First uh, Compendium. Volume 1 and Volume 2. It's sort of a collection or two collections of images, uh, graphic novels. I got a uh, Drearcliff Grange School uh, by Kim Newman. Looks sort of horror ish. I got Railhead by Philip Reeve. What Lights by Jay Asher. And then I got Finding Sky by Joss Sterling. This cover is gorgeous. And now for the final part, the books that I actually bought. First up we have Lois Lane Fallout by Gwenda Bond. 
Then I got The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I got Knots and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. I was able to pick up Kindred Spirits by Rainbow Rowell. Queen of Hearts by Colleen Oakes. Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne. The Accident Season by Moira Fowley Doyle. The Wall City by Brian Grodin and I got Flawed by Cecilia Aaron Ahern, sorry. And at Dublin Airport I was just going to buy something to drink and I spotted it and I needed it so I also bought Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. Oh and I almost forgot I found this really cool uh, comic book store in the Temple Bar area in Dublin so I bought The Wicked and the Divine Volume 2. And let's not forget that I also bought quite a lot of gifts for people, which for obvious reason I will not show you here. Oh, and I got a new tattoo. It's watercolor. It says read this too shall pass and then there's a semicolon beneath it. If you want the story behind that tattoo, you can check out my Instagram in which I wrote a pretty long post about it. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So, bye!